Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God, back with you with the next video in my Mass Effect Legendary Edition playthrough. In today's video, let's continue here, um, continuing the, uh, the main quest, side quest, everything. So we just went to the collector ship and returned, in, and it was a long video in last week's video. So Kelly just said, actually right, uh, right between the recording, she said Samara wants to talk with us. So let's go talk with Samara and see what she has to say. I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death? It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster, she is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free. But selfish. Oh, Samara is one of a kind. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault. And my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much. And then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. 
But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Wow, that's fascinating. Three children, three Ardhat Yaxi. Unreal. So let's go complete some more of the missions on Ilium. Like Miranda's mission and anything else we can find there. For example, one of the missions we do need to do is dealing with the Shadow Broker as well. You might want to speak with Tally. She seems very worried about something. Okay, we'll talk with Tally. Sure, she's on level four. you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing, with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an Admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vasilani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial, or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The Admirals will be waiting for us. I take care, Tyler. No messages for you, Commander. Thanks, Kelly. Let's see what we're looking at here. Actually, let's talk to Joker. Do you think he has something funny to say? Yeah, before we land, let's go talk to Joker. He always has something funny to say after every mission. Let's see what he says this time. So the collectors were once Protheans repurposed by the Reapers. That's right. What a sad end. Makes you wonder if the Keepers on the Citadel were once something different.
Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. So I don't think that Joker may have any more lines. But yeah, talking with him was a ton of fun while we could. Alright, so where exactly are we here? Oh, we're in the collector system here. Acquire Reaper IFF. Oh, that's over here. This is a completely different system. Kelston's Rift over here. We could mine it out, um, but I think we'll get... We'll... Let's, uh, let's only mine this place if we really need. There may be some achievement for exploring everything, so we can do that at the end. But I wanted to continue to Ilium and, uh, and help Miranda. So, yeah. Let's head to the Crescent Nebula. So much stuff we can do. This game is amazing. Should help Miranda give the R intel. So let's go ahead and land and see if we can't uh, take care of the Miranda quest. Because, uh, well, at some point we need to help Miranda. So I don't know if you technically know how to trigger that other than bringing Miranda. So we'll bring Miranda and grunt and let's head out. Alright, so what we want from Miranda. I had her do over or something. But we wanted to get service officer first, actually. Atlas. Um, so we can go with service leader. Miranda's coordination of the fire team gives an increased bonus to squad weapon damage. Or service tactician. Miranda's leadership tactics leaves no one behind. Give an increased bonus to squad health. Um, we'll go with squad weapon damage. And we'll, uh, we don't have any more points for now, so cool. Alright, sounds good. Should get a better gun. Yeah, that's fun for now. Sources indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Fax? It looked suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Fax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. What happens to the shipping agent who is cheating Fax? That depends on how sincere her apology is and how willing she is to correct a mistake. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. A room in Eternity, she says. This game has been a ton of fun. I spent uh, 20 hours around playing Mass Effect 1. Are you a 20. And I'm closing in on 20 hours uh, in this game, and it feels like there's still so much to do. You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. Agreed. No, you don't understand. I lost. 25. Sell at 25. No, no, no. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He 
contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. Keys offered to escort Oriana's family to the terminal instead. He didn't mention anything about Nick Cat. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Nikette are the only two I trust on this. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lentea, we'll follow Nikette's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Nikette escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Definitely bring in Grunt. Grunt's the man, dude. He's so freaking good. Honestly, he's so good. Okay, let's get our car out of tomorrow. Alright, cool. Damn it! Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. They do want to take us alive. Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! I got this. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the captain. She's not as... polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with herbiotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to get ugly. Works for me. They're not backing down. Tell Captain Inyala to send backup. I don't have much adrenaline, so or unity rather, so we gotta be careful. Yeah. Affirmative. Engaging target. Point 
tech overload. Engaging target. Moving to cover. Little piece of crap. It needs to be careful. Right. Grab some cover, man. I want to say. Good job, bro. Now let's finish you off. Alright, good work there. Let's push up. Right behind you. On it. Come on, we need to get to the camp. Very target. well done. Got it. Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But... Well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. If Eclipse knows where Oriana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc... If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. Can you tell me anything about the cargo processing yard? We'll be moving through conveyor systems. There'll be a lot of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need to stay sharp. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you shoot at. I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Let's go find Niket and Oriana. Right.
Understood. I got it. I'll take it. Nice. I'm running low on ammo. I'm, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Down. Affirmative. Oh, 
down through the cargo line. Just looking to see if there's anything here. I'm just seeing the path across. Now I gotta double check for some ammo. If we were able to get some ammo, I don't know. So. Yeah, ooh. Nice, 2,000 credits, cool, cool. Oh, cool. trying to save and get for the uh, head here and that's where i'll go ahead and end the video there for this week i want to say thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe is it great helps the channel I'd like to be with you all take care and thanks again